wouldn't be possible without our partners. Again, I want to insist on the fact that, yes, they help us keep the cost very low for the companies, the participating companies, on both sides, actually. Uh, the, the U.S. side, but also in Europe. More importantly, they bring, they bring some skills, they bring some knowledge, they bring assistance before, during, and after the conference. And we'd like to see some of these companies further down the road list on Euronext. Why not? We've seen that the other way around. Uh, and what we hope for them is great exposure and a rapid ROI. That would make us happy. What happened last year? We brought 36 U.S. tech companies. Five of them were clean tech. 965 European attendees, or some of them were prime ministers, corporate leaders. Some of them were um, right on target for us, head of innovation of the largest European companies, and helped us uh, accomplish the goal of the matchmaking. What we did is we set up 200 one-on-one -on -one meetings for these companies. When they come back, when they come back, they're, they're excited. Here's what they say, prompto. Great venue for us. High profile targeted clients will certainly benefit our current efforts in Europe. Silential systems. Marie, she's right there. She can test it. Give you a testimony. The CEO spent a fair amount of time with a large telco operator and uh, has this solution implemented right now because of uh, the California Tech Showcase. So we're all very excited about what's coming next. Next event in La Baule, same location, beautiful uh, little French uh, resort on the Atlantic shore. Think about it, months of June, not a bad place to be. 4th, 5th, and 6th of June, that makes you leave uh, San Francisco on the, on the, on the Tuesday. Uh, there is a direct flight, Air France, this is the only one. And, uh, and arrive in La Boule on, uh, on a Wednesday, and then we have a nice cocktail sponsored by the Invest in Western France. Good French champagne. And then the business starts. So what we're going to do in the next few months is we're going to be, um, like last year, pretty uh, selective on the companies that we bring. We're going to use the help of the selection committee, but we also need your help. All of you here, volunteer one way or the other uh, to be part of this initiative. One of the things you can do is guide us. Make sure that the good companies come, the not so good companies wait a little bit for next year, but just tell us up front, yeah, this is a good company, I think they should come. And we trust your judgment, that's why you're here today. We trust your judgment, you have access to these good companies, you know what it takes for a good company to succeed in Europe. Um, we will do the training and coaching program here in Silicon Valley in, ap in April. And uh, the matchmaking will start as soon as we have the list of the uh, 40 confirmed companies. Now, one variation from last year is uh, we are going to put more clean tech. More than last year. Last year, five clean tech companies. This year, probably 10 to 15. It is a market or demand requirement. I think Europe is craving this. We also see a tremendous amount of money here in Silicon Valley being invested in clean tech deals. And I think we have a role to play to do a little bit of matchmaking. It is also part of a larger political agenda. Governor Schwarzenegger, Patrice said this morning, we met the chief of staff. This is at the center of their priorities uh, uh, for the coming years. The Sacramento area is, is really um, uh, working hard at making sure that Sacramento becomes a, um, uh, kind of the incubator of, uh, of a new clean tech project. All the academics are involved, UC Davis, Sacramento State, um, VCs, VCs are involved, uh, policy makers. And we're going to have a, a platform, a green platform, the first green platform on trans transatlantic relations, bringing a delegation of maybe uh, 50 U.S. 
key players. So we'll have some VCs, we'll have some companies, we'll have some academics, we'll have some uh, research. Um, and on the other side of Europe, their counterparts, all the large companies that I presented earlier, will be there. And we'll leave it up to them to do matchmaking and talk and we'll organize and facilitate and Gigi will be there and facilitate a couple of round tables. Christian will be there. So we're really looking forward to it. Testimonies, I, I, I won't bore you with more, but um, this is the level of, uh, of people that we have at Labor, at the California Tech Show. Okay, the president of Virgin Mobile, he was very, very impressed, not only with uh, the number of companies, but the quality of the companies and their representatives, because it's for CEOs. You're talking to the right person. If a decision needs to be made, it could be made right there. The CTO of British Telecom. I, could be, I couldn't be more thankful for uh, the attitude of uh, Matt Brass last year. Every company wanted to meet with Matt. This is a, this is a true privilege. Some people pay $20,000 to go to 3GSM and maybe shake his hand. This is not what happened at Labol. At Labol, he said, you know these companies, they flew 5,000 miles to come my way. The minimum that I can do is spend half an hour with each and every one of them. Makes your trip worthwhile. The head of uh, technology sourcing for Lagarde Air Group, one of the largest media players. This year we added Bouda on the selection committee as well. So the media will be well represented. Canal Plus, Vivendi will be there. Bertelsmann. Testimony of the presenters, you have it. How can you get involved? I told you. You can help us identify the quality companies. You can volunteer to be part of uh, the jury. We're going to have a jury there. When the companies present, you can be there as a facilitator. You can be there as a jury. You can also be there as a moderator or a panelist. And we, we also would like for you to be a sponsor at some point. Somewhere. But if you give us good name of companies, I think this is the, the first step toward another great California technology so showcase. So I think you have most of the information. Our new website should be up tonight. I will send each and every one of you the uh, company presentation kit. So you have it if you want to forward it to them. What the companies need to do in order to be considered. They need to fill out a, a, a short PowerPoint presentation. This is a standard format, so there is no discrimination on the form. It's all about the content. And, um, and then once we receive their application, we push it towards the selection, the selection committee. They tell us how much they like it. And, uh, and then we pick and choose the 40 best. And that's it. Thank you very much for listening.